despite difficult and meticulous technique, inadvertent creation of a false passage is a complication that has long been difficult to overcome. This is especially true in the presence of cervical stenosis. Once a false passage has been created, attempts to correct this error often results in further dilation of the passage. This inevitably results in subsequent obliteration of the endocervical canal. The case presented shows how a false passage created while performing an endocervical curatage is overcome using a guide wire and vessel dilator. These tools are contained in any central line kit and is readily available in any operating room. The technique is done by placing both the hysteroscope and the guide wire into the external cervical os, which is done under hysteroscopic hydrodilation. The vessel dilator tip is used to direct the guide wire into the obliterated endocervical canal. After advancing the guide wire into the uterine cavity, the vessel dilator is then threaded over the guide wire through the endocervical canal and into the uterine cavity. Resolution of the false passage is demonstrated using hydrodilation to pass the hysteroscope into the uterine cavity.